Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of my Let's Play series. You join me over here in our beautiful new fountain plaza in our park that is going to be our new city. Now I just wanted to show this place off at night because this really highlights why we want to use the mushroom biome for what we're doing and it that's because we can play around with lighting so much more and we can we can use it to accent things but not use it too much. We can have these beautiful uh, nicely lit pathways but we can still have shadows and everything and mobs aren't going to spawn here because of the mushroom biome. So. I am very, very happy with how this is coming along so far, but today what I would like to work on is our new storage system and this room down here. Now, this is twofold. I've explained this a little bit before, but I'll talk about it again. It's gonna be in two parts. So uh, the walls where the chests are close together, it is actually going to be a multi-item sorter. So there's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 uh, multi-item sorters per wall. And we'll be able to uh, customize those to whatever we want in each. And then on the other walls, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine uh, bulk item storage. So 18 total bulk item storage. Although the very last one, which I believe is here, here will be overflow so that won't be bulk that'll just be anything that doesn't get sorted and also non-stackable items uh, I might end up doing this one as a non-stackable items and this one as a things that don't get sorted but I haven't decided on that yet so uh, that is pretty much what is going to happen down here and the cool thing that we are going to do if I can go up and get my redstone that I uh, got all ready for this project these should be the redstone boxes here so let's grab those and let's also grab our redstone box just in case uh, so the cool thing that we are going to do with our bulk storage these ones how did i take damage i must have stepped through as i was landing uh, the cool thing that we're going to do with our bulk storage is we're going to use redstone lamps and these are going to be item silos so it is going to light up uh, based on how many items are in the chests. Uh, so they're going to go up like this, and that one is sideways. But uh, then in the back, we are going to have redstone that when this chest gets full, this lamp will light up, and so on and so forth, all the way up. And these are going to be quite tall, actually. Uh, I don't remember exactly how many, but seven, eight tall. Uh, so we're going to have a lot of room to store things like stone, cobblestone, sand, gravel, silk touch, silk touch. Do you need silk touch for, for lamps? I'm not sure. You know, you don't need silk touch. They sound like the glass breaking texture. That's why I just thought about that. Anyway, so that is what we are going to work on today. We're not going to work on the multi-item sorter part of this. The redstone for that is insanity. Uh, there's so much that goes on into that. And... I don't even usually do redstone in this way, but um, to, with the multi-item sorter, the, the redstone is like an ABABAB redstone, and just to separate them, I've even brought different colors of concrete. Uh, <laughs> and that is actually somebody else's design that I'm using. I haven't designed a multi-item sorter. This uh, part of the system with the item silos is all my design, uh, but yeah, that is what we are going to start with today. I want to get uh, one side of this built up to start with and possibly the second side. I'm going to see how long it actually takes to do the mass amount of redstone that goes into the back of this system and all of the hoppers and everything. But I am going to do that now in the form of a third person time lapse. So let's get it going.
the first side all built up. You can see it here, and I've actually uh, AFK'd here for quite a while after the end of that clip just to start changing the copper because this is, I am going to let this fully oxidize to the green in here. Uh, it'll be quite interesting once that is totally done. I think it's going to look really, really nice contrasting with the brick and the acacia up there. But you can see how this system is now going to work with this redstone in the back. Every time one fills up, we're going to take a signal off of the hopper. You can really see it on the side ones here, but in the middle it's pretty much impossible because it's just a block of redstone. Uh, but you can see every time uh, the hopper will then have an item in it and it will light up the lamp uh, next to that chest and it'll go up and up and up. So that is how the... I've fallen into a hole. That is how the system works and uh, since then I realized uh, the reason that I didn't do the second side in the same time lapse is I realized I was going to run out of copper. So it's actually been about a full day. I went over to the copper farm and I did some AFK and got way more blocks of copper, about five, six stacks of copper blocks. Uh, I also stopped off and got some more quartz and bricks for upstairs. And that's an empty shulker box. Uh, this was from the... Uh, Quartz and Bricks the Mason farm over in the uh, perimeter, which is near the copper farm where I was AFKing. So um, we've got quite a few more resources and I now have enough copper to be able to do the second side. Um, so uh, this is working out really, really nicely. And as you can see, I have also installed... Uh, that was not bad. Uh, I've also installed the sorters up here, so we'll be able to uh, put filter items. And then if I say I wanted this to be sea lanterns, I would put sea lanterns in there just like that. So uh, for all of our bulk storage needs, we will do that. On the other side, I have decided to uh, do two stop uh, chests at the end. So this one will be overflow items. Anything that comes out of the rest of the system and doesn't have somewhere to go, so we will know to add it to a filter somewhere, because the goal is to eventually have this get no items into this chest. And then this one right here is actually going to be a non-stackable item filter, like you saw in the copper farm and like I've used before, so all non-stackable items like shulker boxes and things uh, as they're, they get broken in the system over here after you load shulker boxes in. And things like uh, swords, shields, uh, armor, things like that will all come into this chest right here. Uh, but yeah, that is the plan. And now I am going to build up the second half of this also in the form of a time lapse. So for the second and last time in this episode, let's get it going. <laughs> second side you can see them paralleled and when this is all changed to the oxidized green color which I think I'll I'll do quite a bit of AFKing here to get it to change fairly quickly so that it looks nice uh, this is going to be just fantastic I can't wait to 
to see it fully completed. And as you can see, um, the lighting is also uh, the same um, down here as we're going for upstairs, that feeling of it not being totally lit up. We can have dark spots and mood uh, because monsters aren't going to spawn here. Now, the one thing that I haven't done is in the back here, I haven't put in our non-stackable item filter because I didn't have that in the original plans, but I am going to pop that in here now, uh, just with the same sort of palette. So I believe uh, I make these all the time, but I always forget how to make them. So we need a bit more scaffolding here. I should really use scaffolding more often. It's quite a, a useful block. Uh, <laughs> I, I tend to just fly. Uh, okay, so we want to compare that and then, ooh, we're gonna need to take out the ceiling a little bit. Uh, compare that and then we want two blocks coming out of that. Oh, but I hate that you sink into scaffolding when you shift. Uh, two blocks coming out of that with redstone on the top, I believe, just like that. We'll need that block gone. And then uh, redstone torch on the end here because that gets depowered and then we want to come down one two down two like this put a oh there's a thunderstorm interesting I haven't slept in a while uh like that and then back into a a block oh god a block and then down a block and then a repeater I think uh and then that repeater, wow, that's loud, uh, powers that, and then we can do that. And I believe that is it. So let's just test this and throw in my pickaxe, something that's stackable, and then my axe. So those things should work nicely. And let's see if this works. Uh, my pickaxe and my axe should be in here, and the 13 slab should be in here. So... Those are from before. There's my pickaxe. There's the 13. Where's my axe? Hmm. Wow, that's really loud. Uh, where's my axe? I wonder if this is a double system. Oh, goodness gracious. Scaffolding. Now I know why I don't use scaffolding. It's actually just really annoying. Uh, is this a double system so it only goes through every other? No. Where's my axe? Oh, where did my axe go? That is worrying. I like that axe. It's a nice axe. Where? Why is it there? That's weird. I cannot explain that. Possibly a lag spike that would cause it to go into the chest above? Strange. Anyway, that works. We can now break these. Ooh, we are lagging. For some reason. Anyway, uh, this system is now put together. And of course, this isn't actually a storage system yet because there's no way to input, there's no way for it to loop around, nothing like that. But uh, we have these 18 modules completely ready to go, uh, just like that. And uh, this is the bulk storage part of our storage system. Let's head upstairs and. There is no thunderstorm. That's strange. It must have just ended. Weird. Because <laughs> that wasn't going on while I was building either. Strange. Anyway, that is the bulk side of our storage system. Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to be next episode or a couple episodes from now that we're going to do the multi-item sorting. The redstone for this is even more intense than the bulk item storage, so this takes quite a bit to do, especially to uh, get the filters uh, installed. There's a lot of filter items that need to go in, which involves like filling my inventory 10, 20 times with filter items, and they have to be named different things, and I'm probably just going to use that stone that we had up there from digging out this hole. But uh, yeah, that is uh, the time that I have for today, unfortunately, but we got quite a lot done and hopefully by the next episode, all of this copper will have changed and you'll be able to see what this storage system actually is going to look like. But thank you so much for watching. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure that you do that. The channel is growing every day and I'm so happy with where it is going. But. 
Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.